of the typical involuntary return migrant. Ms. Grant? Yes. <laughs> they are fearful. They suffer from discrimination, lack of affordable housing, exposure to predators, persons with not very honest intent, exploitation, and some persons have various illnesses, both mental and physical. Yes. And when you said they are fearful, what would they be fearful of? Fearful of the unknown, because many would have left here at a young and tender age. They are not aware of the culture. It's only what they have seen on medias or what they have heard. And so they don't know what's going to happen to them. Yeah, that's a very important point to me because a lot of them leave, as you say, at a tender age. So they may have been babies. Babies when or they left. small children. Right, so yes. that when they come back, they really don't know they Jamaica don't. at all. No, yes, <laughs> not yes. at all. They They're, really don't know. And it. I also yes. think that yes, I live audience. a more tender Jamaica, if I may, a more <laughs> yes, compassionate. Yes. Um, yes. You know, Jamaica, as um, old time people would say, Jamaica, back then, and Jamaica, um, thing, you know, and just even the languages that is used. Yes. You know, now, so I think not just a matter so, so you're saying the Jamaicans now not as warm, not as receptive yes. as perhaps mm -hmm. 30 yes. years when, ago. When a person get killed and you hear somebody say them slap out in head back, you know, things like that. That's not language, you know, that was, yes. uh, you know, we used to. Right. You know, so now it's just like a normal thing, you know, even those kind of violent um, incident, person just is normal. People actually looking, you know, not nothing in the news, um, thing like today, stuff like that. And, and how would they manage financially, those persons who are just returning? <laughs> That's a very big issue and a very big problem because sometimes when they land, their relatives aren't aware that they have actually landed in Jamaica. Sometimes they have been incarcerated for a long time and they would have lost contact with significant others and very often they have no money. But if they have relatives abroad who would send them something, it's a matter of getting in contact. However, the money doesn't come in cash. They have no identification, so they are not able to collect it. All right. So what do you recommend, both of you, as the best part to protecting A, their mental health, and B, overcoming this culture shock of returning to this country that they don't know? One of the main things is um, family. You know, regardless of everything, you may have organizations and so on, but family is very um, important when you talk about the mental um, um, health. When you say family, family where? I mean, Here. family in both, yeah, family in both, um, both um, jurisdictions. Yeah, both, um, jurisdiction, yeah, but more where so they where they are actually yeah, Because you yeah. may have friends, but you know, after a particular period of time, friends go their own way. Yes. And then, you know, you have to rely. So, family is very important in terms of person actually maintaining our um, mental health above yes. everything else. Yes. And, and but also the relationship with family, because mm -hmm. some are coming here and there are families here, but they don't know them. They've never yeah. met them. That's the They've only so, heard of them. So they are strangers. They yes. are strangers. The blood thicker than water, but still, there's they a are challenge strangers. where you don't different know the culture, person that well. Different yes. understanding, and some would have mm -hmm. left. And families here might be very dissatisfied because there was no contact. During the time Standard. when they were abroad. Yes, yes. yes. No contact. And so they say, why, why are you calling me now? Right. Not, yes. not only that, you know, the family that you may be from, like, it might be your mother's sister. Yes. yes. Right? It may be your father's um, thing, um, brother. Right. And this person is not familiar um, thing with you. So because your father coming back, there, there will be a difference in terms right. of the relationship. That's right. So, so it's right. And even to find him might not necessarily be that easy. Right. All right. So how do agencies like yours prevent homelessness so that people can lead stable lives? Right. When they come in from the United Kingdom, Oswald here picks them up, and if they have no place to go, he brings them straight to open arms. If they come from other countries, namely the United States, then I will actually meet them at Diamond Bars. They will, the officers will call, and we'll take them directly to open arms, where we offer the residential care for individuals. So you put them up right away from yeah. day one? From day one to actually prevent the you person You give them being a roof over their head that first day. A lovely roof day. over their head. Yes. Uh, yes. And we Warm have bed and 
nice bed, nice yes. facilities, and we give them. They and have food space. and all of that. Yes, so they come in. They have their meals, three meals a day, clothing, whatever they need. What is it? Yes, all of we, that. Yes, and we have a capacity for eighty-five men yes. and eight women. However, they are not all persons who have been involuntarily returned. It's also for homeless persons in Kingston and Saint Anthony. And the idea of being, you know, I say, give a man a fish, you feed him once, yes. teach him how to fish, mm -hmm. you feed him Forever. for a lifetime, right? Well, so, so the idea behind your agency is to do what exactly? Okay, Not just so to feed them. The residential is level. the first part, yes. first step. Yes. Yes. Immediate, and urgent, urgent step. Right. Yes. Settle them. And down. each person uh, is interviewed. We yes. do an assessment, yes. a detailed assessment, mental, right. physical, social, the full gamut of assessments. Right. And uh, it's based now on individual needs. So, based on the person's individual need, the first step is trying to get documentation because when they come, they have nothing. They come out when we collect them, they have nothing to say. I am John Brown. Right. So we have to go ahead now. If they have birth certificates of uh, 